A few months ago, I started learning game development in Unity, with no experience whatsoever. This is the outcome of about half a year of hard work. About two and a half years ago, I took a programming course offered at my middle school. I spent most of my time making little games in the programs offered, such as Scratch and Khan Academy. Two years later, I decided that I wanted to get back into it. And that's when I found out about game engines. I did a little bit of digging and found two of the biggest game engines, Unity and Unreal Engine. I ended up choosing Unity because from what I could understand, Unreal Engine was only for 3D games and I wanted to make both 2D and 3D games, so it wasn't a good fit. Now, I've always been a big fan of Mario ripoffs. <laughs> I I don't know what I was saying there. I mean, platformer games. So I decided that would be my first project. I was so excited to get into development. I think a bit too excited, in fact, because I quickly started to realize that I had absolutely zero idea what I was doing. I had no knowledge of programming and had literally no idea how the Unity engine worked. What, what's this, bro? What's a box collider 2D? Because of this, I didn't even get to do anything complicated before I ran into weird bugs that I, with my small brain and lack of knowledge, evidently didn't know how to solve. And when I say weird bugs, I mean weird, like ground falling weird. So I calmed my horses, rolled up in bed at 4 o'clock in the morning, and started learning the very basics of C Sharp and Unity, as I should have at the start. I started by reading and watching tutorials on C Sharp. I also found some amazing YouTube creators such as Brackies that helped me learn the Unity side of things. I ended up getting simple and floaty platformer movement and I knew I could do better, so I decided to try something different. About a week later, I started up on my next project. I was going to attempt making a top-down game with my new Unity knowledge. I was quite happy with the results and the systems that I managed to get in place and felt like I was going somewhere once in my life. What a surprise. I got some simple movement as well as collisions and a dialogue system. However, I still felt like I could do better and didn't have enough knowledge to do this project correctly. So I also ended up throwing this project in the trash. It was at this moment that I decided that I would start documenting my game development journey with Unity on YouTube. Yes, I am the only one to blame for the cringy content creator known as me. Now, all of this aside, I was growing tired of always giving up on my projects. So I decided that there was only one way to ensure that I wouldn't back down, to make sure my laziness didn't kick in. Setting up a schedule with detailed goals, making my first game in one day. I ended up making an Endless Runner style game with a menu, sound effects, particles, random generation, and much more. Now you may be asking yourself, Alex, what was the most important thing that you took away from this humongous project? Well, to tell you the truth, I found out about the existence of the legendary post-processing which can make any game look good. That means that my trash game could look good. I was quite proud of this project and I knew that I was starting to go in the right direction. I decided that with my new knowledge, I was ready to once again take a pick at the platformer genre. As you remember, it definitely didn't go so well last time. <laughs> but I was willing to try. I made a more complex movement script. I walked into the depths of animation, but not really since all my animations were less than four frames, but let's not talk about that. Now, it was then that I realized that I had an outdated version of Unity installed, and one of the features that was not available to me with the older version was 2D lighting, which I really wanted to add with a passion. I don't know about you, but having lights and being able to actually see is pretty cool. I also learned about the art of losing, essentially your whole project. When I updated my Unity version, I was greeted with a pink sight. No, literally, a pink sight. Normally it would be pretty cool since pink's a pretty cool color, but not in this case. This was the color of death. It seemed that a lot of my files had been corrupted. It took me a while to come back to where I was before the conflict. When I finished, I was very happy with the game and still am to this day. 
Now that it's been about half a year, I've taken part in insane and brain damaging challenges such as making a game in 6 minutes, and a lot of brain damaging challenges are to come. I have a whole list of videos planned, and they are all super interesting, and I say interesting instead of good because... Well, <laughs> you'll know once you see the videos. On a serious note, the next few videos are going to be amazing, but don't take my word for it. Subscribe. I have also started development on a Zelda rip I mean, top-down game. So far, I have added a complex player, water, enemies, and homing missiles. Along the way, I have expanded my programming and game development knowledge tremendously, and considering I knew nothing at the start of all this, I am pretty satisfied. Are you done with the speech yet? Bro, just give me a second, bro, jeez. It's been a tricky but very rewarding path of failures and success. This man is really giving this sappy speech, but I know about say listening to this. But just like anything in life, there will always be hardships to overcome. Wow, so meaningful, touching. YouTube statistics tells me about half of you aren't subscribed, so if you want to join me on my journey, feel free to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. It's also free, and you can always unsubscribe it later if you change your mind or if you're very tired of my cringe videos. Also, join my Discord server with the link in the description. You can also follow me with the links below, and I mean, yeah, that's about it. New video coming at you soon. When I say soon, I mean in 100 years. Now, stay safe and... I'll see you next time. Bye.